everyone. I just wanted to make a quick tutorial to show you how to find the course hashtag in Twitter, um, especially if you've never used it before. Um, I'm logged in to my Twitter account on uh, the Chrome browser on my computer right now. So what I'm showing you will apply to accessing Twitter from a computer. Uh, however, I will make some comments along the way about what is similar or slightly different uh, if you're accessing Twitter from a mobile device, like an iPhone or a tablet or, or whatever it might be. Um, so here, this is just my homepage. Um, on your homepage, you will see right there in the center um, the tweets of everyone you follow. And this doesn't actually um, update in real time, so it shows you there are 18 new ones. If you want to see the new stuff, you click on that. Um, there's already five more, um, so you click on that just to see what everyone you're following is doing. Um, as you can tell, that can be a big mess. Um, so if you want to find what's going on in our class, you need to use the search bar. And there is a search button, usually the magnifying glass, on the mobile apps as well. And then you type in pound H1182. That's our course hashtag, and you go ahead and search. Once you do, um, you will see only tweets from people who have typed the course hashtag into the tweet. Excuse me, I was about to sneeze there. Um, and so if everyone has done it right, and has typed pound sign H1182. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. In their tweets for the class, um, their, their items will appear here. Also, let me make a quick note. I've, I've put this in announcements and in other places on in the, the course. Um, but for whatever reason, your tweets might not appear automatically or right off the bat in the course hashtag search if you've just created an account. Um, you need to interact with me uh, at CNN Brandon, just send me a tweet, let me know you're here, um, or with other people in the class uh, a few times before your tweets will begin to appear here. So if you start using Twitter and your tweets don't appear in the course hashtag search, don't panic. Just be patient and just wait. Um, and they will begin to appear after you've uh, either tweeted with me or with each other for uh, you know a few times. Um, so here in our course hashtag search, what you get first right off the bat are the top tweets. You want to go to live if you're uh, using a computer or you want to click all tweets if you are um, using uh, mobile device. That way you'll see not just what Twitter deems to be the top tweets, but you'll see what everyone uh, is posting for the class. And you'll notice that this is clogged up with stuff that I've been posting um, for a while now. Scroll down. For some reason, uh, Coach Handbags also use this uh, hashtag every now and then, but mostly they don't. Um, here are some tweets from uh, last summer's class. So anyway, this is how you scroll through. You see what other people have been writing. You can respond to each other and so on. Um, if you're interested, I wanted to just show you TweetDeck real quick. Um, it's tweetdeck.twitter.com. Um, there's my um, text message right there. Um, tweetdeck.twitter.com. And you uh, can organize your tweets in a different way. I really like to use this one um, because I have a couple Twitter accounts and I'm using Twitter in three of my classes. So I scrolled over to the side, I've created columns for uh, each course hashtag. And as you can see a second ago, TweetDeck updates in real time. Um, so this way you can just see what everyone's tweeting. You can also just have your home uh, column, what would appear in your home column on Twitter over there. Um, so you don't have to do a search every time. You can just have these columns side by side. Um, I'm going to scroll over this way. There are a couple other hashtags that I follow. Um, here are the tweets that I've been making. And here are my notifications. So when someone tweets to me or whatever, this is just a way to kind of have it all there so that you don't have to um, navigate and find where all those things are hidden within Twitter itself. So that's just a tip, something if you want to use it, uh, please take advantage. Um, as with anything else in this class, please let me know if you have any questions and I'll be more than happy to help you out.